Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario. Thanks for joining me today on the Belisario Sonic YouTube channel. Today, just a fun video. I picked up this sealed jazz record from 1959. I usually don't find them this old still sealed, so I thought that was kind of interesting. It was very inexpensive, it was like $7. Um, and I just wanted to open it up, clean it off, and drop it on the turntable, and let's see how it sounds. Let's see what it looks like coming out of the wrapper from 1959, see if the uh, record is flat still. The the jacket's a little, got a little curve to it. You know, it's been in this, when it stays in this uh, cellophane for all these years, it starts pulling on the uh, corners of the record. Um, that's why I never leave the cellophane on any of my, um, on any of my records. So what I'm going to do is uh, open it up here and let's see what it looks like. Be really careful with it. Just use this razor blade here to kind of get it started. And then uh, open it up here. Just peeling off this, uh, peeling off the wrapper here. So it's definitely original wrapper. Um, this is some of my favorite kind of jazz. Bebop, of course, Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, Dizzy Gillespie. You've got uh, Flip Phillips on here, J.J. Johnson, Milt Jackson, Slam Stewart, Max Roach on drums. This is pretty much the beginning of Bebop right here. A compilation from the 40s. Let's take it out of the take it out of the wrapper here. Just regular sleeve. Baronet Records. Definitely from 1959. I look, looked it up on uh, Discogs. These go for around, median uh, price is around 10 bucks. Um, let's see, so it does have some some dirt and stuff on there. So what I usually do with, with uh, records like this, I just take um, distilled or purified water um, in a spray bottle like this, spray it off, And uh, that's all it usually takes. I don't use cleaner on it unless it's dirty. Unless it's a used record that's got dirt on it, I usually don't use any kind of cleaner. I just use distilled water to wipe it off with a, uh, with a uh, anti-static cloth here. So it looks like from being in the, in the wrapper for so long, and probably stacked on things or what have you. It does have a little bit of um, markings on here. You probably can't see it too well, but it still looks pretty clean. Um, let's see if this thing's got a warp to it. That's probably a dull video, but hey. Put this on here, give it another spray, and then we'll put it on the turntable and see how it sounds. I don't know how these, how this compilation, some compilation records um, from, from back in the day sound pretty good, and some don't, so we'll see. I'm gonna drop it on my RT85 with the Ortofon Blue here, and um, we'll see how it sounds, see if we got crackles, pops, or what have you. I can see a little bit of uh, kind of scuffs on it. And I don't know what kind of quality these were originally when they were pressed either, so who knows. But I'm going to drop it on here. We're gonna have a little bit of a listen. Brand new from 1959. Of 
course, the recordings from this time period don't often sound the best anyway from the 40s, but a little bit of pop. Definitely not an audiophile recording, but pretty cool. Coming up, I will be reviewing the new Acoustic Sounds releases. Just got the shipment in, so that's coming up next. All right, just a little bit of fun there. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you later on.